morning. <laughs> it's 7 a.m. Podcast. Really love Esther Perel. Um, it's painted really colorfully because it's a child practice. So let me show you around. We've got some Mori monsters over here. And you can talk to the Mori monsters and you can put your worries inside. <laughs> Um, sure. Yeah. So I am in charge of all the psychologists. Book. And now I'm changed into clinic clothes. Made a plan here. So I'm going to partner dancing. Um, and then we've got class starting in five minutes. Um, Mitch, I'll teach it. Outfit of the day, I'm wearing some slacks, just a button up, and hope. <laughs> Let's get some breakfast. I just did some eyebrows, under eye concealer, and lip balm, and I'm pretty much ready to get out the door. I have all of my things and my two bags. Alrighty, let's get going. Ooh, okay. Usually during this time, I like to listen to music, podcast. I really love Esther Perel. Um, Dak Shepard's really good. What else? Oh, um, Malcolm Gladwell's one. Revisionist history, love that one. And uh, oh, Sarah's day. She and her fiance have a one called the Health Code Podcast. I love that one too. Um, and yeah, so that just kind of gets my mood up in the morning. It's just a fun thing. Mornings are, are kind of a good time for me to check in with myself, the first patient, <laughs> my first client of the day. Yeah, so today the plan, I think I have six clients, I've got one home visit, I've got one uh, initial assessment where I meet the family for the first time, they're always exciting. So with initial assessments, um, usually I just have the parents come by themselves and then the following session I'll meet the child. And so it just gives parents a chance to talk about what their goals are. Um, and just really have a space. So our initial sessions are an hour and a half long, just to give them that space. And then uh, subsequent sessions are an hour long. Hey, it's kind of how my day is going to be. I think I'll see you when I'm in the clinic. Alrighty. Good morning. Hi. Good, thank you. I'm filming what it's like to do a day in the life of a psychologist. <laughs> oh, have a good day! Thank you! We just had a nice catch up battle on weekends. So, I'm just going to show you really colourfully because it's a child practice. So, let me show you around. Entrance, we've got seats for parents to sit. Um, and then once we're done in this room, we have a child's playroom. I've got a little rewards jar if we're building up towards a big reward. We've got some worry monsters over here. And you can talk to the worry monsters and you can put your worries inside. That's for kind of like a CBT for anxiety. 
uh, got a bit of a whiteboard space and then we've got a bunch of arts and crafts, toys, games. This is a bit of a sensory box for like calming down. So you've got squishies, squishy things. Um, we've got kind of some younger kid things here like the building blocks, Lego. COVID safe because lots of people are touching toys and things like that. Let me show you what we have in place. We've got hand sanitizer, we've got a spray one, a spray and wipe one for the desks, and another spray one. Um, so usually after each client, I just give all the chairs a quick spray um, and any like fiddly toys, I spray them down as well. And look through my schedule for today. So my first client is at 9 and my last client we finish at 6 today. So psychologists are bound by something called confidentiality, which basically means that if a client comes to see us, um, it is their private business and we are not allowed to talk to like our friends or family members about these cases. Uh, we can't provide any identifying details. So because of confidentiality today, I won't be able to show you my clients, but I will be able to come back in between each session just to do a bit of a debrief and just to let you know how it went. Psychologists have to follow a code of ethics which is written by the APS or the Australian Psycho Psych Psychological Society. Alrighty, I'll probably see you after my first client. Bye! Hello! Um, I've just seen my first three clients so this morning, just had a really fun session talking about worries, being scared of needles and being scared of new situations and now I'm just going to write a quick little paragraph of notes up. It usually turns out to be three or four paragraphs but it just helps me figure out what I'm doing the next session and just to keep track of what is going on if I've seen a family for a couple of months or something. Um, and so session notes, they take a while um, but I'm getting better and better at making them shorter and shorter. So this is Eden, and she's our admin here. Hello. Would you like to let people know what you do? Here? Yeah. <laughs> um, sure. Yeah. So I am in charge of all the psychologist books. I answer the phone calls. I schedule their appointments. I book in new clients. I deal with all of the complaints that come. <laughs> I get to be the face of... You have a lot of stuff to do. Yeah. Eden makes my life so much easier. She does all of the tricky stuff, liaising, and basically when a client comes in, you are the face. So we like, yeah. we walk in and it's hi, and then... Gotta check your temperature. Yes, oh. to be safe. And then we go into the rooms. Thank you, Eden, for that cameo. <laughs> Eden's the best. She helps with everything. We've got Eden, we've got Isaac as well. Um, and they do different days um, and they do a lot of the really important things that as a trainee you have to do yourself uh, like the scheduling, booking, doing intakes, um, they screen a lot of our clients before we see them. Uh, admin people just absolutely necessary. Alrighty, back in the car. Um, now we've got a home visit which is really exciting. We've never done one of these before. Um, I just realised I need my maps which you are on my phone, so I'll have to debrief afterwards. Oh my gosh, that was a tough session. Um, the reasons we're doing home visits is because mum is under a lot of stress um, and the child is going through a bit of a tough time as well. And so today there was a lot of chewing crayons, throwing things. But yeah, it's a pretty typical um, difficulty with big behaviours, there's big emotions underneath it and so he was really sad um, that he got used to me and then I had to leave and then he got really sad when we made us change activities so oh, it's, uh, sometimes it's really fun and sometimes it is quite stressful and I feel kind of tired so I've got my lunch break now and then we don't have uh, a session for another hour I think so 
so I'll check in with you later. I've got about 40 minutes until my next session. I'm gonna write up the notes from this morning and I'm gonna read the intake form for my new client that I'm about to see. And then straight after that, I'd have a break, going straight into my last session. Um, so I'm gonna quickly read over the notes for them as well. And as soon as we're done with that, I'm going straight to dance. Alrighty, it is 6.05. Uh, just wrapped up my last client that will keep the door now. I'm a little bit notorious for going over time because there are so many interesting things to talk about. So, I'm in a little bit of a rush. It's not actually 6.05, it's 6.15. Um, so, I'm going to pack this up. Thankfully, uh, the dance studio is quite close. So, I think I'll still be okay. I'm going to go clean this cup and then we'll get going. We're looking like we are on track for dance. Um, I just wanted to do a quick debrief of today. It was a pretty typical day. Um, the home visit in the middle was a little bit stressful because I just really felt for the mum and the session went well, like we talked quite a bit, but I just, sometimes when you see parents or families struggling, it can, like you can kind of absorb part of it. And so I think that's why self-care is so important, especially when you're, Kind of at my stage talking to supervisors and people who are more experienced they're a bit better at kind of separating work life and home life um, but then also it's really normal to feel um, empathic and to feel what the client is feeling and i think that's useful as well psychology is definitely an area where you never stop learning and the clients are always different you're always changing and it's exciting in that way because work has never been boring. I can honestly say there has not been a single day where I've felt bored by what I'm doing. Most days, in fact, I'd say I feel more on the anxious, like over, like on edge side, rather than feeling bored and low energy. So that's one thing that has been really cool, actually, is to, is to find a job that's really interesting, but also is continually exciting and new things are always happening. Um, and I'm always learning both about clients and the evidence base and what's good therapy, but also about myself and how I can work on my own emotion regulation, how I can work on taking perspective, um, how I can work on being more mindful and present when I'm being a therapist. And so, yes, I'm teaching clients what to do, but literally at the exact same time I'm teaching myself what to do as well. Alrighty, we are about to pull into dance. And now I'm changed into clinic clothes. Need to find air. So important when partner dancing. Um, and then we've got class starting in five minutes. just finished dance, it's 10.45. Um, Mitch, our teacher, is always super passionate and we go way over time. Um, but I'm finally driving home and my schedule is such that on 
Wednesdays I have clinic, but on Thursdays I have research and I'm working from home. So thankfully I get to sleep in a little bit. The dance was really good. I think I need to eat more before next time because halfway through I just had like this massive crash. <laughs> I just like didn't have the energy to body roll. I think I'm gonna go home, shower. Definitely, I'm so sweaty. It was three hours. Uh, shower, probably grab a snack, eat something, and then go straight to bed. I'm gonna sign off because I need some sleep. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked today's video, give me a huge like. It really helps support my channel, especially since I'm so new. Um, and let me know down in the comments what your self-care activity is. I had a really good day today, um, and I hope you did too.